Security Now Illustrated by AskMrWizard.com Illustrating concepts, mechanisms, and algorithms from the amazing Security Now podcast by Steve Gibson and Leo Laporte. This is episode 25, How the Internet Works, part 1. Segment 5, Time to Live Feel. Um, one of the other interesting things that, that's in every internet packet is called the, is called the time to live or the TTL. What, um, what, what you have with a whole bunch of routers all linked to each other, and we'll talk about how that works in a second, what you have is basically one router passing the packet to another router that then passes it to another and so on until it finally reaches its, its destination. Well, there is the possibility for, for so-called router loops where, for example, if one router were misconfigured, it might send the packet, instead of sort of sending it further towards its destination, it might send it upstream by mistake to a different router, which would then receive it, and just like it does any other packet, send it back towards its destination. Well, due to misconfiguration, you could end up with, with loops between routers so that one poor packet just sits there being handed off in a circle, never never being able to reach its destination due to a misconfiguration. So the original designers recognized the danger of this, and so they put a time to live in each packet. It's even though it says time, it's really not about time, it's about router handoffs. It's it, it's a counter. And so systems will start off setting the time to live for example to 64 or 128 or or, or some some semi arbitrary value whatever they're configured to sort of launch packets out of themselves at and every time a router receives a new packet it decrements that time to live counter by one. As long as it doesn't go to zero, it, cons it, it considers that the packet has not expired. And so it looks at the destination IP, figures out which of its many multiple connections are is is like going to take that packet closer to its destination. And so it sends it on out of its out of itself to another to, to the next router in the chain that router receives the packet again decrements that packet that 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 TTL by one and again as long as it still has some life left in it literally as long as that counter hasn't hit zero it forwards it again so the beauty of this approach is that if a packet ever got stuck in in, in a router loop those routers passing it back and forth by mistake among themselves would each be decrementing this TTL toward zero. Finally, one of the routers, sort of like playing hot potato, one of the routers would decrement it from one to zero, and that, at that point the packet is said to have, to have expired. What the router then does is it, because this is like abnormal behavior, you don't want your packets obviously to be expiring, um, it will take the packet and uh, the sort of the, the first chunk of the packet and wrap that in one of our what we were talking about before an ICMP message called um, expired it wraps it in an ICMP time expired message and sends it back to the IP that apparently put that packet onto the internet just to inform the sender that hey we don't know why but we couldn't get your packet all the way to, to its destination before it expired. To see the other segments and related resources for this episode, please join us at AskMrWizard.com. Select Security Now from the prominent section index at the top of the homepage. Choose an episode from the index at the bottom and then select a segment from the resulting page. The original, audio-only version of this podcast can be found on the Gibson Research Corporation site at grc.com slash security now. This clip illustrates some of the highlights from that show. This video clip comes from a large collection of related clips. All are indexed and easy to find at www.askmrwizard.com, along with related items, text articles, illustrations, and forums. Please visit us today. We appreciate your support.
Thank you.